So welcome today. This is going to be a video talking about some absolutely gorgeous lateral canal obturation on an upper right five. Let's get straight into it. So first impressions, pre-op radiograph. This was sent to me by a referring dentist and my initial impression with this tooth is quite a difficult one to treat. So the first thing I see, when, when, I, when I look at a tooth which needs a reroute treatment, it needs to see canal space apical to where the tooth has been obturated to. If you can't see that space, you're in difficult territory. Another thing that I see about this tooth is where the inflammation is because we can see obviously inflammation apically in the tooth but also we can see it lateral the upper right five so I'm thinking to myself straight away that there is some kind of lateral canal. Finally what I'm also thinking about is restorability I suppose in a way distally the tooth itself is quite deep quite close to the alveolar ridge of the bone so this is also going to be ticking along in the back of my mind I'm thinking all the way through this about consent a patient needs to understand that this is a really really difficult tooth to treat so when I opened up the tooth actually I found that as I was orientating myself with the scope I could see that the obturation wasn't in the center of the tooth and again this is sounding alarm bells to me because I think to myself am I orientated correctly because if I am not orientated correctly there's a risk of me perforating the tooth as I drill the access cavity but also I'm thinking to myself is this tooth got a canal that has not been filled this is going to contribute to the failure of this tooth so to negotiate the tooth we used C plus files if you're not aware of C plus files, they are very, very stiff and they have a cutting end, which is really, really useful down sclerose canals. After we used the C plus files, I instrumented with a size 10 K file and a size 15 K file. And actually once we got the size eight C plus file to length, the 10 and the 15 actually went quite nicely. Once I have used my hand files, 8, 10 and 15, I used a Wave 1 Gold Red. I then irrigated lots and lots and lots with 2% sodium hypochlorite and then I took the Comfit radiograph. I'm actually really happy with this Comfit radiograph. So after I use my sodium hypochlorite, I use 17% EDTA solution from Calicept. There is some talk in the endodontic community regarding what we should be irrigating finally with being using HEDP soft chelating material but with this case I used a 70% EDTA solution as the final rinse and I used paper points to wick out the remaining solution. I then used AH plus onto the cones, fitted them to length and used my Elements heated plugger to burn off the access. And I think you can see here is just a really, really nice result. What's significant about this obturation is where the EDTA has chelated or removed the smear layer on the inside of the canal, which has opened up the lateral anatomy. And when I've placed that cone to length, covered in AH+, plus, it's squeezed right into that lateral obturation. You know, I always let the patient stay for the post-op radiograph and uh, when it came through I was so happy you know she was thought I was a crazy person because I was saying how beautiful it was and I'm explaining all the lateral canal obturation and you know I think in a, in a way sometimes if you are really really passionate about something it really really shines through and patients really respond quite well to that and thanks for listening please knock a little subscribe